Hey everyone, Bright2J back with another episode of Yay Toys, and today's review we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, this is the first ever Spider-Man from SH Figure Arts, I'm actually kind of excited. I know a uh, few people have put out reviews already, um, and it looked really good, so I figured pick them up and see it for myself. So with that being said, let's open them up and check it out. And here's the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man out of the box, and I gotta say, so far, so good. Uh, one thing that is a bit odd is the texture on the suit. Um, not quite sure how I feel about the texture, but at the same point, I like it. Um, you know, and I'm just really happy that we finally got a Figure Arts Spider-Man, because it took a whole movie to finally get this. Um, yeah. Looks good, though. I mean, I do like the texture. I do like the way the, the suit came out. Um, the matted colors are going to take a second to get used to, but, um, it's, it's pretty awesome, this figure, though. Uh, the pattern on the boots look really good, too. So yeah, um, height-wise, since it is Tom Holland, it's going to be a shorter figure art figure. Get my phone to zoom in there. Uh, and if I can get Spider-Man to stand, I can show you proper. Alright. So Spider-Man is about five and a half inches tall. Uh, again, it's going to be shorter because he's shorter. Uh... But, I mean, that's pretty cool. I like that they went with a shorter body to go with the taller figures to get the proper uh, scaling down. Uh, Alright, I guess now we'll talk about his articulation. So for his points of articulation, it kind of looks like a mix of old and new. Uh, I could be totally wrong, but uh, let's check it out together, huh? So his neck goes down that far, it goes back that far, his head can go all the way around. Um... Arms go out about that much only, and that's a bit weird considering it's Spider-Man. Uh, he does have this wacky butterfly joint in there. Mine looks to be a little bit weird on the left. Uh, no bicep swivel, which is a bit weird, but he does have this cool double-jointed elbow as well as the turn on the forearm there. Um, he does have hinge wrists. For the ab crunch and stuff, uh... Decent enough. It was back. All right. So you get like the decent Spider-Man, you know, swinging uh, ability, and it does swivel up there. He does have waist articulation too, and this belt is separate. Uh, it hides all like the, you know, the gap in there. Uh, for the legs, let's see, the legs he kicks out pretty far, and. This piece kind of turns with it to, you know, cover up uh, any gappage and you kind of make the, the lines of the suit stick together. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he can split really far. That's always a plus. He does have an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and I like that they didn't cheap out on the, on the uh, texture too, so like it goes perfect. Um, he does have, um, let's see, really good ankle articulation. It goes back really far, forward pretty far, and good toe articulation too. So yeah, you get a decent amount of articulation for Spider-Man. Uh, I do wish there was a bicep swivel as well as the, uh, arms going further up. Um, oh yeah, he could kick back pretty far too, so that's, that's an upside, because you need Spider-Man to have those, like, wacky leg kicks as he, you know, flips around. Um, so Spider-Man seems like he comes with a ton of, uh, accessories, so, uh, let's get to it. Spider-Man comes with a lot of accessories, and the first one up is his backpack. Backpack looks really good, um, the, the sculpt came out nice, I do like the paintwork, uh, it looks really good. Uh, this piece here is going to plug into his back, and then this piece here is how you 
loop it around him without an issue. Spider-Man can't get off the phone. So naturally, once again, Spider-Man's on the phone. Looks really good. Uh, they kind of gave like this shiny blue piece here in the center. Uh, that's to show you what the front is and what the back is. Uh, Spider-Man also comes with this web line. Uh, it's pliable, but it's not bendable. So just be careful and try not to break it. Um, it's clear. I know it looks white, um, but that's also my backdrop. So it's just 100% clear plastic. All in all, still looks good. This is when you want to have him, you know... And those like uh, those shots where it looks like he's web sl uh, web slinging. So yeah, looks pretty good. Um, you do get these here, and these are the web lines. Um, and this is how you would plug it in. I'll, I'll get into that later. Uh, it's white frosted on the top, so that it looks like it bleeds through to give that uh, appearance that he's um, shooting out the webs to stop the uh, the bad guy. You know, looks really good. This piece here, I thought at first it was going to be like part of like another web thing, but it's to uh, pop out his eyes, which I'll get into. Uh, the reason why I say pop out the eyes is because he comes with a couple of sets. So you got the default set, which are wide open. These are mid-range. And then you got this set here. which is uh yeah this set here which is like the squint you know like the don't mess with spider-man look so those are the eyes he comes with this piece which is to plug in a tamashi stage which he doesn't come with because naturally it's a separate item they did it with Iron Man, they did it with War Machine, so naturally they did it with Spider-Man. Uh, now as for hands, he comes with uh, six additional sets. So you got the default, which are on him right now. You got whipping hands. You got a pair of relaxed open hands. You have a pair of wall crawlers. Surf's Up, or Cowabunga, or... There's a proper name, but I don't remember right now. Web Line Holding Hands. And Cell Phone Holding Hands. And he holds the cell phone really well. So, like... You see, he holds it really well. Um... The web line also holds really well. Like, see, it holds really, really good. Uh, now let me talk about uh, swapping out eyes, because that's a bit tricky. All right, so before I get into the eye swap, I want to show you the backpack. Uh, basically, what you do is just unplug this little piece here. Just be careful not to lose it. Uh, and then take the backpack and just slide it right on. Uh, the piece in the middle plugs into the hole in the back of Spidey. That uh, that way it stays on him, and you don't have to worry about you know any uh, anything making him fall over or whatever. Unless you have cats like I do. Uh, so yeah. And it holds really well too. Like there he is with the backpack. Balance him out a little bit for you. There he is with the backpack on. And it holds really well. Um, now, basically, uh, you know, take it off. Just reverse the steps. Another thing is this uh, Tamashi piece. I don't have a Tamashi stage. I've been meaning to pick one up, but just haven't had the time. 
piece plugs in to his back just like so. Um, yeah, so it plugs in really well. Uh, take it right out. And now I'm going to put this piece back in so I don't lose it. Because that would not be good. Uh, at least it's bigger than Captain America's. Nearly lost that about 12 times. Each cap. Uh, anyway. So it plugs in really well. You know, and it holds. So, like, you're, you're good. Um, one thing, too, and I should have gotten this out of the box before I started this uh, video, but I just wasn't thinking about it until literally a few seconds ago. Uh, I saw it on Instagram or watch it in a review on him. I totally am spacing right now. I'm sorry. It's been a long week. Um, if you have the Revotech Spider-Man, uh, that little disc piece that has the magnet, um, that'll fit in the back of the Spidey. So, like, if you want to make Spidey, you know, stick into your TV or your, uh, not your TV, your, uh, your fridge or, like, your lamp or whatever, um, it'll fit. Or if, even if you have that Mafex, uh, the magnetic wall from um, the deluxe edition, it'll, you know, it's a magnetic wall. So, like, get the magnet, put it in the back, and there's, you know, you could use that as a prop or something, you know. Uh, so that's really cool. All right, so now let's talk about swapping out the eyes. All right, so say you want to swap out the eyes and, you know, change up the way your Spider-Man is uh, staring, you know, for pictures or just your shelf purpose. Uh, basically, what you want to do is take the head off like so. Um, this piece here is the inside of his head. Uh, they basically put this here so it keeps the eyes in his head. You know, and I like that they kind of change up their whole um, way of doing things. Because, like, can you imagine figure arts having, like, 12 heads in this box? You know, for all different, like, uh, combos of eyes. It'd be crazy. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to take this piece here and you put it inside and this is going to uh, pull the eyes out, right? It seems to be a little tricky on mine, on the left eye. But there we go, seems like I worked it a little bit. Um, yeah, now it's just grabbing it. Wow, it really is tricky on mine. All right, so yeah, that's the left. Now, let's take the right, which doesn't seem to be tricky at all. All right, so there you see Spider-Man with no eyes. Uh, now we're gonna take the um, the middle set. If I could find it in this mess over here on my station. Uh, yeah. And just slide them right in. It's a bit tricky. But yeah. There's one. And then there's the other. It's a bit tricky. And they're the same kind of annoyance as they were on the Revo Spidey and Deadpool. Um, but I like that you do have this uh, option. And there you go, Spider-Man has the new set of eyes. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, if you want Spider-Man to uh, thwip, basically what you want to do is just unplug his hand. And then uh, make sure you got this piece lined up proper with the, uh, with the web. We'll use the, uh, the shorter one. And then we'll take the proper hand, and then see, and it looks pretty good. Just make sure again that you have uh, this um, web shooter lined up to make it look uh, look proper. So yeah, that's SH Figure Arts Spider-Man from Homecoming. Um, I like the figure. Only gripes, again, t 
Tamashi stage being a separate piece, but we're kind of used to that with figure arts. I'm just grateful that we have an SH figure arts Spider-Man. Uh, I mean, I, granted, it took a whole movie to get Spider-Man, but um, we have one. Um, no bicep swivel and that not 100% on the arm lifting uh, is a bit weird, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm just grateful once again that we have a Spider-Man. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just grateful that we have a Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, I know it's been a while. It's just been a really rough couple of weeks, uh, especially last week. Um, but yeah, that's for, uh, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I promise I'll be pumping out a bunch of stuff, especially with New York City Comic Con coming up. Uh, I'll make sure to uh, record some stuff for you guys while I'm there. Uh, you know, for those of you that can't make it, uh, you know, I'll make sure I give you guys all the insight about what's going on, or at least as much as I can. Um, well, uh, thank you guys once again for uh, watching this, and. Uh, of course, you can always find this video on innercitygeeks.com, as well as my Facebook page, which is Scream Yay Toys. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at bri underscore two j, as well as Insta uh, the Instagram for the channel is yay double underscore toys. And uh, I've rambled on enough, and you guys are probably tired of listening. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.